So on uh, my movie review podcast, Movie Dudes, we're going to begin reviewing older films, classics, or just right, random old films. We're going to try to do one for each episode. And our first one is Total Recall. Which I just kind of chose because it's based on a Philip K. Dick story. I tend to like his his movies based on his stuff. And I haven't seen it since I was a little kid, and I don't remember it at all. And I've said before that maybe I don't remember it because I was too young for it at the time. And I didn't understand it. Well, I just watched it again, and... I think I'm going to piss some people off with what I have to say about it, but I think the reason I don't remember it is because the film is nearly incoherent, and it doesn't make sense if you stop and think about it. That said, I think it's a pretty fun film, but I just, I just, I don't think it's a classic like people say it is. I don't think it's perfect by any means. I don't think it's untouchable. I think it's perfectly fine that they're going to do a remake of it. And maybe, you know, I imagine the remake will have a much different flavor and there will be different reasons to like the remake than I enjoy the original or most people enjoy the original. But it's, you know, it's a 1990 film directed by Paul Verhoeven. You know, he directed, uh, I didn't look this up, but I'm pretty sure he directed Robocop and like, then he went on to do like Basic Instinct and I think Showgirls even. Um, the one with the bugs. Starship Troopers. And he actually did like a like a I think a World War Two film recently that got like some uh, critical acclaim. But just a very uh, I think he's like Swedish or I don't know, but he's like a very daring kind of director that his films are kind of sexy and violent and kind of crazy and uh, so it's directed by him Arnold Schwarzenegger is the star and basically Arnold Schwarzenegger plays this guy Quaid who uh, he's like a construction worker and his wife is Sharon Stone and he wants to go to Mars but she doesn't want to go and he keeps having dreams about Mars so he goes to this place called Recall, where they'll they'll give you like they'll implant memories in your head, and like you could basically take a virtual vacation. You know, you'll remember it vividly, like you had just gone there. And you know, he chooses to go as go to Mars, and he wants to go as like a secret agent, and he wants to hook up with a brunette because he has a thing for brunettes. And, you know, and stuff like that, and. In the middle of the session, he, like, freaks out, and the people at Recall, they assume that something is wrong, like, he, his memory, he must have been to Mars before, and his memory was wiped, but the, the, the simulation that they're giving him, that they're trying to implant in him, his memory is, you know, making him recall stuff. So they wipe the whole session out, like, he never had gone there, and they drop him in a cab on the way home. And then his co co-workers and some thugs show up and try to kill him, but he kills them. And then he goes home to his wife, and she says, you know, you know, she tries to kill him, and she says that, like, you know, she, she's being paid to be there, and this is all fake, his life is fake. You know, and his identity, Quaid, is all an implant that was put in his brain, and he was actually, like, he actually was, like, a secret agent or something on, on Mars... And as you can see, it's already getting a little messy. It's interesting, and it's cool, and it's smart, but it's a little like, what? But, you know, I don't want to spoil the whole movie, but as it goes on, basically what he's he has to do is, you know, he was a secret agent on Mars, and he has to go back and find out what was happening, and why, why was his memory wiped clean? Like, what happened? Like, you know, he finds a video... For, Man, it it just makes no sense trying to explain. But this other guy leaves him a suitcase with some stuff in it. You know, one thing is to pull out a tracking device that was in his brain, so these guys can't chase him. And now there's a video of himself saying, "Hey, uh, you know, you're not really Quaid. 
you know, your name is Hauser, and I knew too much, and this means that they wiped your memory, and now we have to go back and try to, like, figure out what's going on and, and solve everything. And even then you're like, why doesn't the his former self on the video just explain what is happening instead of leading him on like a goose chase? There's too many things like where if you stop and think about it, you're like, what? But, uh, yeah, I, and, you know, I don't want to spoil it more, but I think there's one twist too many. A lot of twists in it, but the, 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 once you get to the final twist, you're like, so this was the plan all along, and who would ever think of this stupid, ridiculous plan? I don't know, it's got problems in that department. Like, I just, I don't think it makes sense. And it's kind of hard to follow. Like, it's basically on Mars, like, there's, like, this evil guy running Mars, but you don't know whether he's uh, running a corporation or if this is an arm of the government, like the American government, and they're mining stuff in Mars, or is that a corporation working for the government? Like you don't know. It doesn't. It isn't explained. It's just there's an evil bad guy running Mars, and you know what exactly is he doing? Like what makes him so evil? Other than he's controlling Mars, and he's like working people to death and stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling on about here, but it's just. It's very, one, it's not explained well, and two, even if you kind of follow it, it's like, if you stop and think about it, it doesn't make sense. At the same time, there's a lot of fun to be had in the movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger's fun in it. It's a good Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, action flick. Like, lots of fun action. It's bloody. It's violent. It, it has, like, a good, like, you know, late 80s vibe to it. It came out in 1990, but for all intents and purposes, that's the that's the 80s. It has lots of cool like special effects, you know, practical special effects and stuff. Um, like there's like a, he disguises himself as a woman. He's trying to get through like customs or something and at Mars, and you know the the guy's like screws up on him and it's like this thing like opening up around his face and he like takes this helmet off and you know I can't even explain half the shit in this but <clears throat> it's fun on that level like for the action and the gore and like that whole 80's vibe it's got some like good like one liners it's got a lot of one liners it, it like tries you know, you take away the sci-fi and stuff, and it's like a fun 80s action movie. And you have, like, the one-liners, like, this old lady tries to grab the suitcase that was left for him, and he's like, no, it's mine, he's pulling away for her, and he, he grabs it away and runs, and she's like, fuck you, you asshole. Just weird stuff. Like, the one guy asks him, hey, let me ask you something. You ever fuck a mutant? Uh, just, I don't know, it's goofy like that. Like you take away like the if you if you don't worry about the plot, it's it's there's a lot of fun to be had with it and like one cool thing about it like to watch it now is like the antiquated like futuristic technology that's antiquated now like you get a little bit of that in like a lot of the older movies that are sci-fi like you know you know or like you know Star Wars like the old Star Wars movies like the stuff that's supposed to look futuristic some of it doesn't anymore. <laughs> it's just like, you know, everything that's like handheld, like the tracking device is just like this big box that this guy's carrying around. It's like a handle with a big box on top of it. And all the graphics on the computer screens just look terrible. You know, and you get the computer screens that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, it's just like a black screen with green text on it. Or like you go into like a hotel lobby or something and like there's a screen and then there's a keyboard below it to like interact, you know, like there wouldn't be touch screens and stuff in the future or things wouldn't be compact and lightweight. I don't know, just a lot of like the, the stuff is just fun to look at and like, you know, them trying to look super futuristic and I'm sure at the time like some of it did. Like, you know, they had like TV screens on the wall like, in his house, and that's pretty cool. Like, that's still, like, 
people don't really have that, but at the same time, you think about it like a widescreen TV on the wall, what's the difference? Uh, but then, like, you know, a lot of the TVs, they're like the old standard definition square boxes. You know, and that's not very futuristic at all. I don't know if I'm making any sense on that, but that's just... It's a fun part of it, actually, is, like, this futuristic technology that is just... Now is, like, laughable. So that's, like, a, that's what I think makes the movie fun, are those elements, the 80s elements, the violence, and the, you know, like, as a Schwarzenegger action flick, it's fun. But I think the plot is just... It borders on ridiculous. I think it crosses over that border several times. And... I don't know. I just I just don't think it's a movie that it's great for what it is. I understand why people would love it. I understand why it's held in high regard and people remember it. At the same time, I I really don't feel like it's untouchable. I think there could be a, a remake that's, you know, more serious that is not one-liners and not over the top and stuff and smarter that has a smarter plot that makes more sense. Go ahead and bash me if you think, oh, I didn't get the plot, but you really stop and think about it. It's, I don't want to spoil it, but it's just the the central plot doesn't make sense. Like, and the lengths they would go through to do what they're trying to do, supposedly, it doesn't make sense. And it's some of it's just not clearly explained, like who this Cohagen guy that's running things, like what is. What exactly are they extracting from... I think they're, like, mining stuff from Mars, but it's, like, barely mentioned in one line. What is the organization that he runs? That's not really explained. What is his ultimate goal? To control Mars? That's his goal? Is to just have control? We'll explain that better. I don't know. It's just... I think the plot's of a bit of a mess, and I think people might want to bash me for that, but... I think I'm right. I think it's just like, what the hell? Like, if you stop and think about any of it, it just... Think about it. Think about the plot and think about how that makes sense. It doesn't. So, I'm not hating on it. I, I had a fun time watching it. I was just, at the same time, I was like, what? And I, enjoyed, I enjoyed it for what it is, which is, you know, a relic of its time. There's other 80s action movies I like more. And there's other Schwarzenegger movies I like more, and there's definitely other sci-fi movies I like more, and Philip K. Dick, you know, adaptations I like more. You know, you want great Philip K. Dick adaptation? Look at Minority Report. That's awesome. I think the Adjustment Bureau, when it comes down to it, is a slightly better flick than this, but it will never attain the status that Total Recall did. Anyways, I'm not trying to rip on it, but that's my thoughts. I would probably give it like 3 out of 5. You know, if if you like it, I totally understand, but that's just my feelings on it. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting to see what my co-host on Movie Dudes has to say, but uh, and what you guys have to say, but anyways, thanks for watching and I hope I didn't like, you know, totally piss you off regarding a movie you love, but there it is.